Because we believe, we speak. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 And since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians 4.13 is quoting from uh, the book of Psalms where he reminds us about the very essence of faith in God. He says, you know, we have the same kind of faith in God as people in the Old Testament. We have the same spirit of faith. And what is the spirit of faith that he's talking about? You know, what is this, what does faith in God do? He says, you know, they said, we believe and therefore we speak. And so he says, we likewise, new covenant believers, we do the same thing. We believe and therefore we speak. We speak in accordance to what we believe. And you know, our belief or our faith is in God and it is in his word, in what he can do and who he is and what he has promised for us. So when we speak, we have to speak in line with our believing, our believing of God, his word, his promises. We believed and therefore we spoke. And today we do believe and therefore we speak in line with our faith. And that's what we as believers must be doing in every situation, in every circumstance of life. You know, uh, uh, in, in a situation where uh, you may uh, be faced with danger, what do you believe? You believe His Word. His Word says, He will give His angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways and they will bear you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone and that's his word and we must believe his word we believe that god is our protector that god is our deliverer and so we must speak in line with that we believed therefore we speak so you say well god has given his angels charge over me the angel of the lord encamps around me and delivers me no weapon formed against me will prosper. So in that situation where there may be, uh, where, you, where you may be threatened with danger, you are speaking, not announcing the danger that you're facing, but you are speaking according to what you're believing. And what do you believe? The word of God. So let your, the word of God become the words of your mouth, even in a situation like that. And as we speak God's word, what we're telling, it's, it's our way of releasing our faith in God. We have the same spirit of faith and you're releasing your faith in God and God will move over people in response to your faith. God will move upon situations and circumstances when he sees you expressing your faith in him. We have believed, therefore we have spoken. God moves on our behalf. In every situation, speak what you believe. You believe the word, speak the word. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for reminding us about the spirit of faith that we carry, that we speak according to what we believe. And I pray that each one listening will be encouraged to do this in every situation believing that you will fulfill the, the word you've spoken, God, in our lives, that we will see your work take place. May thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.